Welcome family, friends, graduates, faculty, staff, and other distinguished guests. We're really excited to have you join us in the celebration and the farewell ceremony for the cohort 2024 students. They are now physician assistant graduates and on to take their board exams. I would like to invite Haley to the stage to give our invocation. Hello, I have the opening prayer. Lord God, we ask for your almighty hand to be upon all those who graduate today, and a special blessing for the faculty and family who are assembled there and throughout our journey. We thank you for guiding us through years of rigorous study, sacrifice, and dedication. Bless our lives from this day on with goodness and love, and help us stay true to our dreams while using our gifts wisely, walking into the future with faith, hope, and love to make a difference. May we be compassionate healers, serving others with true solidarity and kinship, May we seek ways to help the poor, the marginalized, and those who are suffering. As we embark on our medical careers, may we all continue to live lives of learning and discovery while bringing healing to the world with a focus of promoting health and advancing medical science. In closing, bless our hands as we touch lives, our minds as we seek solutions, and our hearts as we offer comfort with guidance for our calling to serve. We offer this prayer with gratitude and hope. Amen. Our next speaker has held many roles within higher education, a very distinguished history. He has spent the last two years as chancellor of our institution, as been, and he has been instrumental in the strategic vision of this program and institution. It's my pleasure to announce Dr. Jerry Jackson to the mic for the address to the class. Thank you. Good evening, graduates, faculty, dedicated staff, cherished family, and supportive friends. Today marks a significant milestone as we come together to celebrate your remarkable achievement. Throughout your journey, you have displayed unwavering dedication and perseverance, culminating in the successful completion of one of the most demanding programs in healthcare sector. Your commitment to excellence is evident and you now stand ready to embark on a career that will leave an indelible mark on countless lives. As Chancellor of University of the Cumberlands, I take great pride in our Williamsburg Physician Assistant Program, consistently ranked among the nation's finest by US News and World Report, equally noteworthy as our partnerships with the local community, providing invaluable clinical experiences and opportunities for service, your education has been enriched by the best mentors, and you have risen to the challenge un with unparalleled dedication. Today, as you prepare to step into your professional roles, I wish to impart a message that I believe will resonate deeply with each of you. It is a message of professional humility, a quality that is essential for success in the dynamic and complex field of healthcare. Professional humility is about approaching every interaction with humility and respect, recognizing the inherent worth and dignity of every individual, regardless of their position or title. It is about acknowledging that each of us has something to offer and something to learn. In the realm of healthcare, professional humility holds particular significance for physician assistants. As you collaborate with a diverse array of professionals, from physicians to nurses to pharmacists, you will navigate a landscape marked by both autonomy and interdependence, balancing confidence with humility, 
curiosity, you will strive to provide the highest standard of care while remaining open to continuous growth and improvement. Professional humility is not a sign of weakness, rather it is a testament to strength and maturity. It reflects wisdom, compassion, and integrity, and it serves as the foundation for meaningful and impactful leadership. In reflecting on the importance of professional humility, I'm reminded of a quote from Mitch Albom's book, Tuesdays with Maury. Now bear with me. The truth is, once you learn how to die, you learn how to live. These words spoken by Maury Schwartz as he faced terminal illness offer profound insight into the nature of life and the importance of embracing every moment with love, gratitude, and authenticity. They remind us that true fulfillment comes not from material success, but from the, re the relationships we cultivate, the communities we serve, and the causes we champion. In addition to Maury's wisdom, I would like to share one other quote that I believe speaks to the essence of a meaningful life and purposeful life. The way you get meaning into your life is to devote yourself to loving others. Devote yourself to your community around you and devote yourself to something that gives you purpose and meaning. As you embark on this next chapter of your journey, I encourage you to heed these words, to devote yourself wholeheartedly to the service of others, to the betterment of your communities and the causes that resonate deeply with your values and passions. In doing so, you will not only find fulfillment and purpose in your work, but also make a lasting and meaningful impact on the world around you. In closing, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you on your graduation. Your hard work, dedication, and achievements have earned you the respect and admiration of all who know you. As you go forth from this esteemed institution, may you carry with you the values of humility, compassion, and integrity. And may you continue to inspire and uplift those around you in all that you do. Congratulations. In the next section of this farewell ceremony is where we get to honor awards to students who have shown above and beyond what's expected. The first set of awards focus on academics. We look at test scores. We look at summative and formative test scores. We look at overall GPA. All students have done well. The student who shines today academically and is awarded today has received the highest PACRAT score, which is a nationalized uh, assessment that looks at um, the later part of the curriculum, how well the student has learned up to that point. The other uh, assessment that we are awarding today is the end of curriculum exam. The end of curriculum exam is also a nationalized, standardized exam. And so students are ranked and assessed and compared nationally. Our students consistently score at or higher than national average. So congratulations to all of you. <laughs> this year, one student receives the award for highest PACRAT II, end of curriculum exam score, and highest GPA. And that student is Logan Mann. Students are not only recognized for their academic achievement, 
They're also recognized for their professionalism and how well they show their character as a clinician. The next award is given based on the highest preceptor evaluation of the student scores. The student who impressed their preceptors in professionalism, medical knowledge, decision-making skills, history and physical taking, and all of those clinician skills is Aisha Amin. <laughs> Go in our order of getting your hoods. We'll start with the first row. Y'all can go ahead and stand and form a line. And Madison, we'll start with you. Madison Almond. Aisha Amin. <laughs> Sally Bang. Gabrielle Barella. <laughs> Hannah Bewley. Ann Bursmeyer. <laughs> Tiffany Edmondson. Michelle Feltner. <laughs> Kate Gorgip. Aaron Hegg. <laughs> Taylor Hoskins. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa Howard. <laughs> Kenneth Jackson.
Shreya Canal. Rachel Lee. Logan Mann. <laughs> Jessica Napier. Leslie Pruitt. <laughs> Jennifer Piles. Taylor Reinhardt. <laughs> Emily Sams. Haley Satina. <laughs> Matthew Schrantz. Lucinda Smith. John Steen. Bailey Thompson. <laughs> Colton Wright. You guys stand up. Turn and face your families. You guys can have a seat again. <laughs> I will now open the mic for any faculty or staff who would like to say a few parting words as well. Wow, where do I even begin, you guys? <laughs> 
You're the first cohort as Director of Clinical Education I've seen from the beginning to the end. Um, it's been a pleasure. We learned together, we grew together, but I did not realize that I was taking some of you to raise until yesterday. <laughs> while doing a site visit, I was even picked up and spun around by one of you in the middle of a clinic, all while I mumbled under my voice, put me down. <laughs> I thought I was bringing you guys out of your shell. Maybe you were bringing me out of my shell. So I must remember cohort two, 2024. I want to thank each of you, the graduates, our outstanding faculty, preceptors, and staff. Um, you have been a pleasure to work with, and I cannot wait to see where this profession will lead each of you. I'm happy to welcome you to the elite group of UC PA alumni with myself and Dr. McKitty. Oh, and I have another reminder. Meet your deadlines. <laughs> First, congratulations to every student and to your parents and families who are celebrating with you today and who will cheer you on on your next steps, which will also go by fast. It is an honor to witness you all accomplish PA school. As you were my first cohort, I had the pleasure to see all the way through. From the many deadlines, rotation changes, and countless emails from myself, you all have finally made it to the end of PA school. A quote that I would like to leave with you all is take pride in how far you have come and have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget the journey. I have no doubt that each of you will go far beyond your dreams, and let me not forget this one final reminder. Once you have practiced for a year, make sure you reach out to your favorite clinical team, Professor Pruitt and myself, to sign up to be a preceptor. Congrats again, Cohort, cohort A, and good luck on your pants. Sign Miss Lucy. Well, now, you guys know you're not my first cohort all the way through, but you are definitely a memorable cohort all the way through. But 27 months ago, each of you became an elite member of Cohort 8 2024. And as most cohorts will describe, those first few months are a bit intimidating, but you begin to bond as a cohort, and it happens very quickly. And even though those friendships are only formed a few months prior, Several of you found your way to a wedding of one of your classmates. Now, typically, you only have your wedding with people that you've been good friends with and family for a long time. That shows you the kind of bond that will develop amongst you. So beginning then, summer of 2022, we set out on a journey through clinical medicine and pharmacology and pathophysiology and patient assessment, just to name a few. And you did endure and overcome. Then fast forward 15 more months from matriculation, it's time to start clinical year. I told you then it will fly. Did I lie? Mm hmm So throughout clinical year and on callback days, I could hear the excitement from each of you as you spoke with your classmates, catching up, and you sharing your stories of your rotation. And as clinical year pro progressed, I could often hear a maturity in your voices, and I could see it in how you carried yourselves. So yesterday, during the capstone presentations, I could see the transition from student to graduate was complete. The presentations were top-notch and had the feel of being at a conference presentation. So as you go your separate ways, you likely won't forget where you came from, Many of you will maintain friendships you have developed and may even meet up at conferences or even take trips together. When you're ready, and I swear we did not coordinate on this, become a, to become a preceptor <laughs> and you want to give back, you, know, you are definitely welcomed. And some of you may also become voices in the American Academy of Physician Assistants, Kentucky Academy, or other state academies. I know each of you will be great, and regardless of where you land, you will represent yourselves, your school, and your employer with pride. Best of luck on the pants and in your new jobs, and as always, if there is anything I can do to help, you know where to find me, middle of the hallway. I will miss each of you as you leave here and set out on your next journey. I 
I just want to say I'm going to miss you guys. You are a great cohort. You guys have done great things, not only academically, professionally, but you have given service to your community. You have given service to yourselves, your cohort, your faculty, staff, program, and even the communities. You guys did a lot while you were here, and I'm super proud to call you graduates of our program. You guys are great ambassadors. And you've heard a lot about us saying, come back and be preceptors, but it's because we are so impressed with your abilities, and we want to recreate you all <laughs> and every student that we have. So my parting words are, medical providers remain students their entire lives, but you all are no longer my students, so you may call me Dana. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. I also know you're going to do great things, and I uh, give you hope and prayers that everything goes well. I know it'll be stressful. Uh, every change is stressful, and you have every one of us as a resource to you. Reach out. We are your colleagues now. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> you're welcome. Also, friend me on social media. I don't want to, like, I'll friend you now if you ask. <laughs> um, I don't want to lose touch with you guys, so... I'm also going to not cry. So I'll now say, um, if Matthew would come to the stage and give us our benediction, he will close us out. But don't take off right afterwards, because there will be some photos. Matthew. Thank you, everybody. If you would, please bow your heads for the final prayer. Dear Lord, guide my mind and my hands and inspire me with words of comfort that I may help those in suffering. Encourage me in the trials and misery to which I am daily exposed. Grant that I may always use my power and influence for good and let no human being ever deter me from the performance of my sacred duty in accord with your holy law. Amen. So we're going to take the next few minutes to do photos. Um, as we finish the photos, if you guys would, please make your way over to our program spaces. Students, graduates, <laughs> you all now have a parting gift over there that you can pick up. And please have some cake refreshments um, and enjoy our spaces. So students, come up to the stage. Uh, graduates, come up to the stage. <laughs> Now we can be friends Finally, on Facebook. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're quite welcome. They'll strangle you from this day forward. <laughs>